with Bitcoin breaking to new all-time highs, every investor inevitably begins to wonder exactly how high this bull market could go. Here we'll analyze the data, try and mathematically determine how high both BTC and MSTR could go this cycle. So we'll jump straight into it. We're here on the Pi Cycle Top prediction chart we have here on BitcoinMagazinePro.com. Now, if you weren't aware of what the Pi Cycle Top chart is, it is pretty simple. It's two moving averages. It's the 350-day moving average, which is this green line here, but it's multiplied by a value of two. And we have the 111-day moving average, which is this orange line here. And historically, what we can see is when the orange line crosses above that green line, indicates that a cycle peak is imminent. And historically, it's been incredibly accurate. Within just three days of every single Bitcoin cycle, it has marked the all-time high. Now, what we can do is take the current trajectory of these two moving averages to kind of try and anticipate exactly when these are going to cross. Now, every single day, this data is going to change. The slight slope differences in these moving averages is constantly evolving. So we can see that if we analyze this tomorrow or the next day or the next day, it's going to be slightly different. But these are currently predicting a Bitcoin cycle peak to occur January 17th, 2027. Is that it? Video done? <laughs> a really easy one today. No, I'm going to be honest. And I know Phil might not like me for this. Positive Crypto, the creator of this metric. I don't think these two moving averages are going to cross this cycle. I think it's very unlikely that we see some sustained positive Bitcoin price appreciation above the 350 day moving average multiplied by two for long enough to allow that 111 day to catch up and actually overtake us. Considering the Bitcoin price action would need to currently surpass $170,000, $180,000, but stay there for potentially months to allow that 111 day to catch up would mean we probably need to be hovering around 200 to a quarter of a million dollars for multiple months, if not substantially higher. If you're waiting for this to cross this cycle, I wouldn't solely rely on this. I would love to be proven wrong. Seriously, I would love to see this metric work once again, but unfortunately, I just don't think it's going to happen. So we need to come up with a new method of how we're going to mathematically predict the Bitcoin cycle peak. Now, what we can do is look at the raw MVRV. If you go to the MVRV Z score chart here, you can remove the Z score and just look at the MVRV, which is just the ratio between the underlying price or market cap of Bitcoin and the realized price or cap, which is the average accumulation or cost basis of all Bitcoin on the network. Now, I have used this method before. If we look here, what we can see is looking at the realized price, we actually mapped out the diminishing returns, percentage increases in that realized price, looked to where the MVRV could top out as uh, in comparison to its previous cycles, and we came up with this price, $273,000. And I'm pretty sure I said in that video that that might be slightly unrealistic, but it is always a possibility, of course. And if that occurred, then maybe we do get a Pi Cycle top cross. What we can see is if we just do a slightly more basic analysis today, what I can do is just draw on something like this, which would kind of connect these diminishing peaks we're seeing in this metric. Draw something like this, which is kind of where we'd anticipate the peak to occur, considering we're having diminishing returns. And that kind of aligns with the two peaks we've already set in this cycle. So we'd see a MVRV score of about 2.8. Now, given the fact that the MVRV, not sorry, the realized price is currently around $50,000, we can just do some very simple maths to say, currently that gives us a price cycle T peak, sorry, of 50 times 2.8, $140,000. So that can potentially be our base case, our maybe bear case prediction. But do keep in mind the realized price is constantly increasing. Every single day, every single day that we're seeing some price inflows, we're seeing capital pouring into Bitcoin, pushing the price even higher, this realized price is increasing. So I think in this video, I can't remember exactly how high we anticipated it would be, somewhere around $70,000, I believe. So if we saw a $70,000 realized price at the time of a price action peak and times that by 2.8, then we get about $200,000, which I think is somewhat reasonable expectation for this cycle. But for this video, we're going to do something slightly different. We're going to go a slightly different route. I always like to try and do different mathematically predict things. We've done Monte Carlo simulations, Pi Cycle Top, MVRV, lots of crazy stuff. But today, I know many of you are going to argue it's not really maths, but if you go to the Wikipedia page, it's the second word in this article. In mathematics, the Fibonacci sequence is a sequence. You don't have to read it. We're going to use Fibonacci extensions. So if I go to trading view here, what I can do is show you a really simple trick and one that is actually fairly effective. People are going to dismiss this as something that doesn't work. It's just random math numbers and stuff, but it's really hard to actually give 
targets and resistance points above price in levels we've never actually reached before. So what we can do is something super simple. What we can do is just grab this tool here. If you go into trading view, it's the fib retracement and I'll show you the settings I use to actually do this. If you grab the low of a cycle and the high of the previous cycle, and I'll just grab the settings here, you can pause the video so you can replicate this exactly. What we can see is if I just drop down to the daily time frame, it might be get a bit easier to actually see what's going on here. We can see that these levels actually work surprisingly well for predicting levels of support and resistance for the Bitcoin price action. So we can see that this level one here is obviously the previous all time high, but above that we can see multiple instances of hitting these levels of resistance, support, resistance, support, every single time. These are levels that we had no idea would be influential previously because we'd never reached these levels before. And then the price cycle peak, the Fibonacci extension predicted $20,700. We didn't quite reach that, but we were just a few percent off. And then scrolling along, we can see for the remainder of this cycle, well, the subsequent cycle, this predicted again, the levels of support and resistance incredibly accurately. And once we broke down through this level of support, again, it worked incredibly well, even into the next cycle. So there's clearly something going on here. There's clearly something we can get from this tool to give us some indication of what the Bitcoin price action could do. And the same is true for the next cycle. If I was just really quickly give an example of the next cycle, we can see, I'll just drop down to the daily time frame again, scroll all the way across. I don't know why TradingView keeps putting me all the way to the left these days. We can see it predicted the peak at $14,000. It predicted the bottom of the COVID crash. If we scroll along, predicted this initial run up top we had at $40,000 and where we would retrace to. It then predicted this first peak we had in this double top price action cycle, predicted the bottom of this retracement, the next bits of price action. And then obviously we have this double top, which slightly surpassed that, but still it's pretty impressive. It's, it's almost surprising to see how effective these let's be honest, pretty random lines work just based on this mathematical sequence. What we can do is do the exact same for Bitcoin in this price action cycle. So I'm just going to grab the low, go to the high, super simple, go back to the daily time frame. Let's see if it's been effective in this price action cycle. What we can do is zoom out and again, see it's worked pretty well. Levels of support here and here, levels of support there, resistance, support, resistance come up and make support. Big resistance here as we made this big run up to about $74,000 post ETF announcement. The retracement we had in price action when everyone was losing their minds and we dipped to about 40, 50, 49,000, $50,000 was exactly towards this Fibonacci retracement. As we ran up to $98,000, again, exactly there. And now as the Bitcoin price action has just had this local high, exactly at this Fibonacci extension level. Pretty mind blowing to be honest. It's pretty crazy how accurate these are. Even this most recent retracement we had came exactly to this Fibonacci retracement, well, extension level. So if we're looking and, and we have to be objective, I know people look at technical analysis and say it's looking at tea leaves or just like astronomy for, for trading, of course, but it can become a self-fulfilling prophecy. And these are pretty popular tools. If enough people are looking to these levels, they just become, they just come into existence because enough people are paying attention to them, enough people are taking action on them. So what we can do is if I just draw them on once again, we can look at to where these are potentially extending upwards of, of our current price action. So it might be a little small for you to see, but we can see the most recent one, which we've just touched the 1.382 extension, $122,000, 136. Now this is going to differ by a few dollars, depending on exactly which exchange you're using. I'm just using the Bitcoin US dollar index chart. If you're using the Binance, Bybit, Coinbase, whatever chart, there's going to be slight discrepancies there because the actual underlying pricing data is slightly different, but we can look above that and see $145,000 as our next target which is pretty interesting because that aligns pretty closely with what we calculated with the MVRV, anticipating diminishing returns multiplying by a value of 2.8, gave us $140,000. Now, of course that is increasing, but that's pretty interesting to see that that aligns with that. And then above there, we have $173,000. We'll just say $170,000 for simplicity's sake. Pretty impressive. I think that's pretty much my base case of where we may end up this cycle and something very realistic and the 1.618 Fibonacci extension is always a very key level to be watching. And above that, we have $223,000. Now, what we can also do is using a very similar approach, go to MSTR micro strategy. Now, I've already drawn these on here. What we can see is if I just go to the daily time frame and just zoom out. And again, it scrolled me all the way back to the left. Zoom across here. What we can see, just drawing from the previous high we had in the last cycle. It doesn't really make sense to do this on the previous cycles because strategy didn't first accumulate Bitcoin until August of 2020. So prior to that, the price action is doing its own thing. 
what we can see is if we just zoom along here, again, very similar trend of hitting these Fibonacci levels almost exactly to a scary degree of accuracy. We can see that all time high we currently have in MSTR is currently around four cents higher than what was predicted by the 1.618 level on this Fibonacci extension, which predicted a 542.98 price, uh, 96 price, sorry, and we had a $543 high. We can see the retracement was down to these levels, the extension we've had, and now we're running up again. So I'd anticipate us to retest that all-time high, but if we just zoom out and see where MSTR could go beyond these current targets, beyond where we've currently set our high, we can see that the next Fibonacci extension point would be at $798, we'll just say $800 for simplicity's sake, and above that, $1,300. Now what we can do is a little bit more fundamental analysis approach to MSTR. What we can do is go to this chart here. Now what we can see is MSTR currently have just over 600,000 Bitcoin and the MSTR price $450. As I film this, it's obviously gonna change by the time you film it. What we can see is if we have that target price, that 100, I'll put it to exactly $173,000, the price high we got from the Fibonacci extension on Bitcoin. And given the rate of accumulation from MSTR, they're likely to have between 700 and 800,000 Bitcoin before this cycle actually peaks. And we just go quickly to the MSTR page here. What we can do is just scroll down all the way here and we can see the premium to Bitcoin NAV value here. So this obviously oscillates quite substantially, but we've reached highs as 2.89 just a few months ago. And in the previous cycle, we were reaching highs of three or even four, even higher than that. What we can see is this is looking at the value of MSTR, the market cap of micro strategy or just strategy now in comparison to their Bitcoin holdings. So we can see that they currently have around $63.43 billion of Bitcoin and the market cap's about $106 billion. So we can actually calculate that premium there. So if I go back to this, if we just assume something around a two to a 2.5X, considering in this cycle, we've already seen values considerably higher than this, assume their continued rate of accumulation to give somewhere around 700 to 800,000 Bitcoin and a premium of two to 2.5X, what we can see right in the middle, $1,300. So of course, this is all speculation. This is all wild speculation. But the fact that again, we're seeing a metric line up this technical level, line up with something that fundamentally actually may be a good price target to be watching. Again, gives us some confluence that this $800,000 could be an initial target, but that $1,300 could be a good upper target to be targeting for MSTR in the remainder of this cycle. And something else we can do, I've had to record this a little bit later because I forgot to film it while I was actually doing the video, is if we just scroll and look at the 2017 cycle for when Bitcoin actually broke above its all-time high towards its cycle peak and just get this price action here, this fractal here, and overlay onto the current price action, we can actually see something pretty interesting. If I go all the way across here and just line it up to where Bitcoin, I know this isn't quite exactly where we broke the all-time high, but if I just line up from this most recent move we've had in the price action here and just zoom in, what we can see is this lines up almost perfectly with the price action that we've recently seen in Bitcoin. We can see pretty much to the day we followed this perfectly. Even this most recent retracement, we can see has lined up with this fractal. And what we can see this would anticipate is maybe coming back and retesting the previous high we set around $108,000, $110,000 around that level, and then continuing to run up to this point of $173,000. So of course, this is just a fractal that may not play out. It is just interesting to see that if we take Bitcoin's price action in previous cycles, the psychology is still the same. The investor behaviors and patterns are still reminiscent even to this day. And it actually aligns pretty nicely with what we may be anticipating the maths pointing towards for Bitcoin cycle peak this cycle. One thing, however, we do of course need to acknowledge is that these are almost certainly gonna be incredibly off. They're gonna be wildly wrong. Anytime anyone tells you what the Bitcoin price action is gonna be, don't listen to them. Who knows what's gonna happen? It's way better to react to the data than try and predict it. There's been countless models such as the stock to flow, which again, as much as I'd love to be proven wrong and see this hit, hundreds of thousands of dollars and actually follow this plan B model. I just don't think it's gonna happen. If we look at the power law, again, it'd be great. I would love to be proven wrong on power law as much as I'm not the biggest fan of this. If we see Bitcoin hit $600,000, $500,000, I would love to see that happen. I'd love to be proven wrong. I just don't see it happening. It's way better to look at the data and react rather than try and predict. It's all fun doing these maths predict videos, but realistically, if we look at something like the MVRVZ score two year, and if we get a high in this cycle, again, above a value of three, which is historically where we see pretty major peaks in this cycle, I'm gonna be looking to start scaling out my positions. If we look to the realized cap hodl waves and we see a huge amount of capital inflows buying Bitcoin, it 
probably overly expensive prices, extortionately expensive prices compared to the historical accumulation averages of those that have been in the space for a much more considerable amount of time. It doesn't matter what price is. It doesn't matter if we're 140, 170, $250,000. If these signals start flashing, take action. Also, please don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications to ensure you're receiving all of our content as soon as it's released. And make sure to check out all the resources we've discussed today, as well as the many more that are all available on BitcoinMagazinePro.com, your number one source for Bitcoin analysis. So just to summarize, with Bitcoin breaking to new all-time highs, every investor inevitably begins to wonder how high Bitcoin could go this cycle. But using a more price action based mathematical approach with the Fibonacci extensions, we can see a bare bull base case for where we can maybe see the price action going throughout the remainder of this bull market. And what we can see is Bitcoin is pointing towards a potential base case of $170,000. The pessimistic case was 140 and the optimistic was more like 220. And from that, we can get an MSTR base case of potentially $1,300, which provides an unbelievable asymmetric opportunity. And that's actually backed up by some fundamentals. If we look at that MSTR pricing chart based on their holdings, based on their premium, we can see that $1,300 is actually a fairly reasonable expectation for how high MSTR could go this cycle. However, like we can see with the Pi cycle top, the stock to flow, the power law, I'm sure there's going to be countless more models in the future. And there'll be plenty that have just been long forgotten because they've all broken. All of these models are inevitably going to break. Every single forecast you see is almost certainly going to be wildly wrong. And it is always better to react to the data as it's coming through than trying to predict the future. It doesn't matter what price we are. If we see the signal starting to flash, if you have your own strategy in place and you see things starting to go off, it doesn't matter if you're waiting for 200K, if at a certain price tag you can buy that new orange Lamborghini or that new house, whatever you're thinking, take action. The price is arbitrary. The fact that we're seeing long-term holders begin to take profit, we're seeing retail firmer, we're seeing the derivative market getting way overheated, we're seeing macroeconomic conditions potentially become unfavorable. All of these given confluence alongside some potential Fibonacci extension levels of course they're worth paying attention to, but when all of them in confluence are pointing towards one inevitable outcome, that is almost certainly the way that price action is going to go regardless of what the price is. If you like this video, then please visit BitcoinMagazinePro.com where our analytics help you to cut through the noise to make informed data-driven decisions about Bitcoin. With over 150 live charts, personalized indicator alerts, in-depth crypto industry reports, API access, and more, all for a fraction of the standard industry price. And let me know what your thoughts are on how high Bitcoin and MSTR strategy, micro strategy, whatever you want to call it, could go in this cycle. And I'd just like to reiterate, the Pi cycle top, just because I don't think it's going to cross, doesn't mean I don't think it's a useful tool to use for the remainder of this cycle. It can still be a great risk management tool when we start to see this really start overheating, especially this oscillator, which actually shows us the difference between these two moving averages. Once we start getting some big convergence in these two averages, it gives us some indication that we may be getting closer. As I said, I hope Phil doesn't sack me for all of this and I hope you don't hate me for saying that the Pi cycle isn't going to cross this cycle. Of course, I'd love to be proven wrong, but let me know your thoughts below in the comments and on social media. I look forward to reading and replying to them. Thank you all very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.